this? Oh, no. Yours is Rest in Peace, Dr. Mario. That's true. Everyone on this stream, please go check out me versus Vel in our random melee money match. Number uh, one. Number one. The first one. There's multiple. Um, that was a fun time. I got bodied. Anyways, I are we going right into it? To... Yeah, it looks yeah. like we're going into it. And so Ryan Ford, Trolley, I'm here. Wait, this is real? Yep. Because uh, I was saying a lot of down smashes and a lot of up smashes from the mic. So this is Strats. yeah. See what's Marth and five Sheik who just got shined off the top of the Yoshi's. Cause Falco. And uh, I'd assume Ryan Ford is the fox. Uh probably. Um I mean he is a he is a fox player mostly, so. Yeah. Ooh, that forward air. Five and Seawit um, hitting each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the downside about playing like Marth in uh, in teams. Yeah. Like, his sword's really big, so you can hit your opponent from far away, but your sword's really big, so you can also hit your teammate. From far away. Yeah. <laughs> like, and his five is already down two stocks. See wow. what? Play in the stock tank, though, which is honestly, like, a very hard thing for Marth to do, especially against two spaces. Yeah. But, but I think it's working out for him. His recoveries have just been pretty on point. He's yeah. been mixing it up a little bit. Runs right into five down smash, though. Yeah. And a falling back air from platform there will take the stock. Yeah, that's definitely going to take it. So now we have the uh, uh, five and Seawit down a stock. A um, couple up airs coming in from Ryan Ford on a Seawit. Yeah. Racking up that damage as Fox. Ooh. That was really smart there from Trellium. Uh, he saw five go for a couple pummels before he started his throw and actually managed to hit uh, five out of his throw before like he actually launched him. Yeah, before the knockback actually kind of came into the equation there. And we're going to get a sweet Falco shine up air. Sweet, sweet Falco. Ooh. Was that a, was that an I air? I believe that was back air. Back air, ah. Uh. But not quite killing. Yeah. I mean, the thing about uh, Sheik and Marth is that they're both relatively good against spaces. It's just that the team's aspect yeah. really kind of hurts them, you know? Sheik, not so much. Sheik is good in teams. But Marth, I mean... People will say that he's probably the worst of that. Him Out of, like, the Falcon. top tiers, yeah. Him and Falcon are, like, the worst of teams. But, you know, let's see what Seawit can do. We got a... Uh, 1v1's going on here. Yeah, they're both getting edge guarded simultaneously. And then one player holds yeah. ledge, the other player waits on stage. That makes recoveries against Sheik so much easier, yeah. like edge guarding, because, you know, usually your mindset for Sheik is, oh, I'm going to hold ledge, force her to go on stage, then punish when she gets on. In doubles, all you got to do is hold ledge and be like, my partner's got this. Like, I don't yeah. even have to worry about, like, rolling on at the correct time. Exactly. Uh, pro tip, uh, it's right when you hear the puff. Right when you hear the puff? Yeah, that's when you press R or L. Makes sense. Or you just never press it because you hold it, and then Sheik never gets it. <laughs> Sheik never gets the ledge. Oh, Ooh, speaking, speaking of Sheik, of never getting the ledge. Oh my god, getting battlefielded so hard. And then forward airing Seawit to the ledge. Why? Hey, at least he didn't SD on the ledge. So that's the important thing there. That's true. And both these games, Five has lost his stock so quick. Mm -hmm. Which is very unfortunate. <clears throat> yeah, because Sheik is normally supposed to be a stock tank. I'd assume on this team especially. Yeah, especially considering like they're playing against spaces. Yeah. And that was actually pretty good spacing by Seawit to kind of nair over five. Mm -hmm. So he didn't hit him off the ledge. Ooh, shine up air coming in from uh, <laughs> Trellium. But good DI by five to not die there. Ooh, Ooh Snipes wow. that ledge, but immediately dies. Yeah. And uh, we got uh, full stocks up for the blue team. They're just really looking uh, more solid. Yeah, Ryan Ford five. is sitting at 53% a minute into this game. Yeah. Getting another edge hog on Seawit. He was doing a pretty smart things there, trying to mix up his recovery, you know. He saved his double jump for quite some time, but still managed to, uh, you know, knock that back. Yeah. And, you know, I think the blue team is just a little more composed than the green team. I yeah. said that in the last set versus with Slicka and Funky. But I don't know. Like it seems like they're kind of getting in their own head here. They're hitting each other a lot more than normally they would, and I don't know. They just seem a little less composed than the blue team is. Less confident, I guess. Ooh, but a great downer there from Seawit. Maybe that'll give him some confidence back. Was it the Seawit special though? It was not the Seawit special. Seawit special being ledge hop downer, the most hype of things. 
Especially when you're edge guarding a spacey. Yeah, and you're just like, get out of here. You're just like, I'm going to hold ledge. I know you're going to try to get back. You're going to try to go on stage, and you're getting down here. <laughs> you're going to die. That's what you're going to have. Ooh, Ryan Ford going for that uh, F smash on the left side. And Trellium getting a sick combo to kill five. All right, down air coming in. Back air gets the shine and the down air again. Tries Ooh. to get another shine there. Went for the, the double dip. Good fair from ledge there. I See, the scary thing is, like, with Marth, your throws in this matchup, like, if you ever even get one, you're yeah. getting punished during your throw animation. I can't believe Siwi made it back, but then that one jump and then the downer to punish it. Ryan really? Ford, Trully, I'm taking that with yeah. that pretty quick 20. Yeah, quick 20. Really convincing for Ryan Ford and Trillium.